morning guys welcome back to another vlog so i i feel like i'm in a little bit of a funk the last couple nights i have not been sleeping well the pregnancy insomnia has been so real and i feel like the lack of sleep has made it really hard for me to feel good and feel productive and so today i i want to try and do the things that I can to bring myself out of that funk, make myself feel better. So I just showered and detangled my hair for the first time in like four days, so that took a while. And as you may notice, I am again, rock in the middle part. I wasn't totally sold on it after the last vlog, but I, I did really like it and I wanna give it a fair shot. So what I decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear it in a middle part for about a week or so until the hair gets like fully acclimated to the new part and lays more comfortably. So today and probably the next couple vlogs, uh, we'll be getting used to the middle part, but I already feel like 10 times better just having like showered, detangled my hair. I went up to my office and got some work done as well. So I feel like we're, already off to a relatively good start but now that i've wrapped my work up i want to go to the grocery store and i'd like to do some meal prep today i think that'll also set me up for a good week it's monday as i'm filming this so kind of trying to prep for my week get my life back in order also i think it'd be nice to go on a walk i always always feel better when i get outside get some fresh air get some movement and uh i think i want to do like a full spa night tonight like do my whole skincare routine take a bath give myself a facial all of those things so i'm gonna put on my shoes and we'll head out to the grocery store and out for a walk and actually you know what we should do before we do that my new running shoes that I ordered in a bigger size because my feet are growing in pregnancy just got delivered and I need to unbox them and we'll try them out for the first time today here we are ah! my new wide fit Nikes oh these are so comfy oh my gosh these are great <laughs> Also, not to brag or anything, but I did tie my own shoes because Steven's in the shower. And also because they're the wide fit, they were much easier for me to get on. So I will go ahead and link these in the description, but let's head out. I am back a little hot, very tired, but um, I'm feeling really good, feeling pretty good physically, very good mentally. So I think I'm just gonna meal prep that quinoa, sweet potato, onion, red bell pepper bowl that I have showed on the vlog a million times at this point, but I'll put a card to a video where I actually show the recipe if you're interested. Also, um, putting you guys on the tripod because my hand is tired from holding the vlog, but um, little update on the baby room makeover. So this past weekend, Steven and Kyle got started on putting up the wall where like the opening was in the baby room and it looks great they did an awesome job I'm looking at it right now but I'm not gonna show you because you have to wait for that vlog but the doors that Steven and I had picked out actually got delayed so they're not gonna be here until I think this Friday so the wall is up now and then next coming weekend either Steven and Kyle or Steven and his dad will be putting up the doors and then the next week is when Mr. Kate comes and does the whole room makeover and so just wanted to give a little update on that and now I'm gonna get to cooking. are almost done quinoa has about five minutes left but kind of an exciting new thing as of like a week ago our city just started offering organic recycling in green bins so Stephen and i are starting a compost and i've never composted before so if any of you guys have any tips definitely let me know down in the comments but cooking this meal today is my first time collecting the veggie scraps here for the compost so that's kind of fun i'm excited about that oh also when i was at the store i bought a cucumber for the sole purpose of getting to have some cucumber water my own spa water because we're going full out for the spa night tonight cucumber water and all <laughs> all right veggies are in and nice and steamy add in the quinoa and we are prepped i am so excited to just like self-care for the next hour and a half as i'm going through my skincare routine i am also going to update you guys on my current routine and the products that i have been using and loving since i filmed that video back in november where basically i fell down the skincare by hiram rabbit hole and reworked my entire skincare routine so i'll update you on kind of what's changed since then and which of those products are now staples in my routine so well actually first thing i already did is i just cleansed my face i used the okay i know how to pronounce this now. I use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial 
cleanser. Now, a few vlogs ago, I referred to this as, how did I say? I said CeraVe, I think. And I was absolutely crucified in the comments. But um, I just cleansed my face and I wasn't wearing any makeup today except brow gel, so I didn't need like a makeup remover. And now that my face is clean, I'm actually gonna do a facial steam and I am so excited because this video is sponsored by Vanity Planet. And I have bought quite a few of their skincare and self-care products over the past few years and I've loved everything I've tried, but recently, ab about a month ago, I got their Era Ionic Facial Steamer and obsessed is an understatement. This thing is, I, I'm so excited that they're sponsoring me so I have an excuse to just rave about this because it is my new favorite thing. <laughs> But pre-COVID, I loved to go get facials from time to time and just really like get pampered. And so with being at home the past year, I have been kind of trying to like step up, level up my at home spa game. And this freaking facial steamer seriously just brought it all to the next level. Like I, I feel like I'm at a spa in my bathroom. <laughs> the steam is so soothing and gentle and it just really opens up my pores and amplifies the hydration. I like to steam as a prep before I give myself a facial about one to two times a week. And over the past month that I've been using it, my skin just feels so much more receptive to the facial treatments. It also moisturizes and hydrates the skin, which is so nice. So if it wasn't clear at this point, a uh, huge fan, super thrilled to be working with Vanity Planet. And they gave me a special discount for you guys. So you can actually get 50% off with the link in my description. It's code S49 and you can just click that link. So thank you so much Vanity Planet. All right, so I am gonna be here with my facial steamer for the next 15 minutes. And then also I brought in the foot massager that Steven got me for my birthday. So I'm just gonna let this massage my feet. Let this steam my face and uh, commence with the relaxation. <sighs> All right, hello, time for the next step. So now that my face is steamed, I'll usually go in with my first mask, which is the Herbivore Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. And this is one of the products that I was trying for the first time in that like skincare routine revamp video. And I still really, really like it. I feel like it does a great job of exfoliating and brightening my skin. But I will say, I don't use this every single time I feel like I want to exfoliate. I alternate it with my old exfoliator, which is a physical exfoliant versus this one is chemical. This is the Eminence Organic Skincare Strawberry Rhubarb Dermafoliant. And even though this is a physical exfoliant, it is incredibly gentle. I don't feel like it scratches or strips my skin. And so I do like to alternate these two. So I usually exfoliate once a week. And so one week I'll use the Blue Tansy Mask and then the next week I'll use the Eminence Organic one. And this week we are gonna do the blue tansy mask. Oh, also, I just realized <laughs> earlier when I was talking about washing my face with the uh, CeraVe, I got a little bit distracted by the name and didn't actually talk about my update on the product. So this cleanser, I love. I also have another cleanser that I use. Hold on, let me grab it. I also really like this Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Superfood Cleanser. As you can see, I really like it because it's almost out. <laughs> this one is a little bit more drying, whereas the CeraVe tends to be more hydrating. And as someone with really dry skin, I think the CeraVe is probably better for me. But the Youth to the People one just has like a really nice feeling on my skin. It smells really good. It feels really fresh. And so the CeraVe cleanser I usually use in the mornings or on the nights when I'm just doing like the quick version of my skincare routine at my bathroom sink. And then the Youth to the People one I keep over at my bathtub and I use that when I'm actually doing like my full facial nights. Even though I'm doing that tonight and I use the CeraVe. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mirror and put on the blue tansy mask. This one I like to keep in my skincare fridge because it just feels amazing when it goes on cold. But this one sometimes does make my skin a little bit red after, which is again why I like to only use it every other week and alternate with my other exfoliant. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. And so this mask I'm gonna leave on for about 15 to 20 minutes. And while it dries, I'm actually gonna transition into the bathtub. I went ahead and filled it up while my face was steaming. So it's all ready. I'm just gonna add my bath bomb in. 
in. And then after that 15 minutes is up, I'm gonna stay in the bathtub, wash off this mask, and do my hydrating mask, my second product. So I'll just tell you about that now so I don't have to do it like naked in the bathtub. But once I rinse the exfoliating mask on, I'll use the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. To me, this is like the hero product that I discovered in that like skincare routine revamp video. This is my favorite mask. As someone with dry skin, it deeply hydrates my skin and just makes it feel so much more moisturized. And also it just makes my skin like glowy and bright. Every time after I use this product, I use it about one to two times a week. I feel like I just look at my skin in the mirror and I'm like, wow, this is, this is what I want my skin to look like all the time. It's also just kind of like a fun product to use because it goes on yellow in this like honey consistency. And then as you work it into your skin, it turns into like a white cream and it heats up kind of tingly. It feels nice. It's definitely Definitely the skincare treatment that I see myself using like long term, no matter what other products come in and out of my routine. I think this one will be a mainstay. I really, really love it. Okay, time to go in the bath. <laughs> All right, I'm going with the goddess bath bomb. All right, so I have the honey potion mask on and I'll leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Also, this bath bomb, the goddess bath bomb, this is my first time using it. I am obsessed. I think this might be my favorite bath bomb. I think I like it more than sex bomb. It is so pretty. Like, I don't know how well you can see it on camera. I just have to be careful about like what I show here. All right, I am out of the bath now. And once I had dried off, but my skin was still like a little bit damp, I apply this Neutrogena body oil to any of the parts of my body that feel like they have been growing and stretching recently in pregnancy. I don't know if this helps with the appearance of stretch marks, but it definitely helps with the discomfort of my skin stretching. For the past, like, I want to say maybe two months, three months, I've been applying this at night to my stomach, my hips, and my boobs. And before I was applying this, I could feel my skin, like, stretching and, and like, breaking is what it felt like. And it was itchy and uncomfortable and painful. And since I've been using this, I still get stretch marks, but they're not painful. Like, I, I think it just helps the skin kind of ease as it stretches. And so it has made my body growing so much more comfortable. I guess that's not really skincare, it's more body care, but it's all under self-care, so. I also use this Hemp's Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon Moisturizer on the other parts of my body, my legs, my arms, my hands. It smells delicious, it's super moisturizing. This product I actually got because I was trying it for a main channel video. I did a video where I tried the products that YouTubers swear by, and I wanna do a part two to that video, because I feel like there are multiple things that I bought for that video that have become constant in my routine and my life. Like really, really good products that I love. This is one of them. Alicia Marie like raves about this and I get the hype because it's great. <laughs> so moving back to skincare, I'm gonna open up my skincare fridge and we are gonna do a serum and then a moisturizer and then finish off with an eye cream. So this brightening serum, I actually got in, I, another thing I got for a main channel video, I was trying this thing called Cosbox. I think it was a video where I bought from Instagram ads? No, it was ads that won't stop following me. That's right. And it's a quarterly subscription box that focuses on sustainable and ethical products. And this brightening serum is one of the products I got in the first box and I love it. It feels so good on my skin. So I just take a couple drops and then I'll kind of press it into my face. Mm, it also just smells amazing. It smells like oranges. <laughs> And then I'm gonna moisturize with the Youth to the People Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. This moisturizer is another product that I added to my routine back in November. And I just love, this is my second, I'm on my second bottle now. When I originally got it, I think I was just using it in the morning and it was a different moisturizer that I was using at night. I now use it morning and night. It goes on so lightweight, but somehow is still like deeply hydrating. And I feel like since I started using this product, my skin is just so much less dry and flaky. Definitely another one of those hero products that I have just really, really grown to love. And then I'm gonna take this Rose Quartz Roller and roll away 
from my face. I learned this recently. Rolling away from your face is supposed to help more with the puffiness because you're kind of rolling out. And even though I rubbed in my moisturizer and my serum, I do feel like this kind of helps to make sure that it's really set in and it just feels really good. I keep it in the skincare fridge so it's nice and cold and just feels really, really great on my skin. I feel like I could do this for hours. <laughs> It's so nice. And now I'm gonna go in with an eye cream. And I remember in that video in November, I had tried this one from First Aid Beauty and I really, really liked it for the first month or so, but kind of embarrassed to admit how I figured this out. But this product, I really liked it first. It felt good on my skin. However, if I cry, if my eyes water, that eye cream causes some sort of thing in my eyes where my eyes get puffy for Hours. Like they will not de-puff after I'm done crying. And in pregnancy, I have been very emotional. I feel like I cry so much more than I used to. And so I've just decided that that's, that's not a risk I wanna take that, you know, I might put on the eye cream thinking, oh, I'm not gonna cry tonight or I'm not gonna cry today. And then Bruiser does something really cute or Steven says something really nice or I think about birth and motherhood and my baby or literally anything can make me cry nowadays. <laughs> and then bing, bang, boom, my eyes are swollen and puffy and uncomfortable for a long time. So I've just decided that's a product I'll give another try, maybe post-pregnancy. <laughs> and so there are two different eye creams that I've been using for the past few months. First is this Skin Authority Reviving Eye Brightener. This one gets the job done. It feels nice. It also doesn't make my eyes puffy if I cry. <laughs> and then this second product is definitely a splurge product, definitely like luxury skincare. But I got the La Mer Eye Concentrate and I have been loving it. And it is a really small jar, but I'm only using a tiny bit of product because it's just for my eyes. So I do think this is going to last me a long time, but I still try to use it sparingly. So most nights I'll use the Skin Authority one. And then when I really want that extra kind of pampering like tonight, I'll break out the La Mer and it has this nice little applicator that I also keep in the skincare fridge and it just, it's really soothing. So that's what we're going to use tonight. Just take a little bit in the applicator and rub some in under my eye and also up above like above my eyelid and i'll do that on both sides oh this applicator is just the best i should really just use this regardless of which eye cream i'm using because i love this and then i'll just kind of finish it off with a little pat to make sure all the product is rubbed in oh my skin feels so good. It feels so just dewy and hydrated and clean. I've really always been into skincare, but I think especially when I stopped wearing makeup in, when was that? Like May of last year, so almost a year now. When I stopped wearing makeup, I really kind of took the time that I used to spend doing makeup and put that more into skincare. And I learned more about skincare and I got more into skincare YouTube and found different products I like. And I would say aside from, you know, rocks and carnivorous plants, skincare has definitely been my like core hobby. It's just fun for me. I really enjoy it and it's like a good opportunity for me to take some time just for me and for self-care. So this skincare routine may seem a little bit overboard if you're not someone who's really into skincare, but for me this is like this is what I look forward to every day. I need to pause my rant though because I almost forgot my last step. Well last two steps, just a chapstick and an acne treatment. So for my lips I really still love the Glossier Rose Balm.com. So put on a little bit of that. And then depending on the status of my skin, what my acne is like at the time, I will either use a benzoyl peroxide cream for like acne spot treatments, or I'll use one of these Peace Out Acne Healing Dots. They look like this. Come on, camera. Come on. Okay, it won't focus for a close up, but they're just little like medicated stickers essentially. And when I first tried these, I talked about it in a vlog and I, I wasn't crazy about them, but I figured out that's because these are for a very specific kind of stage of a zit. And that is if I have a whitehead, if the blemish has, what's the word I'm looking for? Surfaced, I guess. This does a fantastic job of like sucking out all the yuck. But if I have a zit that doesn't have a white head, it hasn't surfaced yet, this doesn't really do much. It, it can't do all the yuck sucking. <laughs> so <laughs> if I have any zits that have not yet surfaced, I use a little bit of the benzoyl peroxide cream. And if I have any whiteheads, that is when I use the acne healing dots. And throughout my pregnancy, I had been getting a lot of hormonal acne on my chin and it felt like for a while there that no matter how consistently I treated it and how much time and energy I put into my skin, it just was nonstop. And I feel like the past 
maybe three weeks, four weeks, I've really gotten a handle on it. And I credit a lot of that to the combo of these two and knowing when to use the healing dot and when to use the benzoyl peroxide. So right now, here is my chin. You can see I have some smaller zits still on my chin, but they're a lot more controlled than they were before. And none of these have surfaced yet. So later tonight, I will come back in here and put on a little bit of benzoyl peroxide, but I'm not gonna do that yet because we're actually about to play D&D &D with our friends just virtually. And I don't wanna have zit cream on my face while I'm playing D&D. &D, so <laughs> actually, what time is it? Okay. Oh. Okay, we start D&D in two minutes, so I just have to go right now. I'll see you guys after. <laughs> Check out the new prop I got for D&D. I did give myself a pretty serious splinter <laughs> trying, to, trying to set up the little uh, suction arrow, but I think it's gonna be worth it when my D&D party checks out my oh sick my moves. God. No more, no more. <laughs> also, I got this. This is for my short sword. <laughs> Up until now, I had been using a coat hanger as my bow and a uh, butter knife as my short sword. So I'm really excited for our D&D party to see that I've leveled up <laughs> my prop game. Are you embarrassed? I'm embarrassed. And I'm scared that you're gonna make a hole in the wall. I'm not gonna make a hole in the wall. It's a kid's toy. I could have gotten like a no. legit one. This is like a little teeny tiny kid's one. This is a cheap crappy toy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really fun. Oh, also we moved the Peloton bike in here. Uh, while Steven was working on the room. Yep, which is still in progress. Mm -hmm. So. So I'm gonna draw my long bow. Okay, get roll 20. Okay, 11. Yeah, who are you shooting at, the district or the guard? The guard. The guard. All right, you missed. All right, your arrow clinks off of this chain shirt. Wait. Can I, wait, can I reenact it? Cause I have a new prop here. <laughs> nice. All right, oh, and I, oh, oh I missed. <laughs> Grazed right past him. That was your best one yet. I, that was a pretty good one, huh? I'm glad I got some practice with this in. <laughs> I cast my bardic inspiration upon Zoltan. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, that was so fun. I think that might be one of my favorite sessions yet. That was really, really fun. Uh, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I've really, really been enjoying getting into D&D &D and it's fun seeing everyone bring out their props and get into character. But I am so tired. I, I I feel like I, I did really good. And then the last like 20 minutes we were leveling up, I was like, my eyes were closing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, oh, I'm so exhausted. I hope I can get a good night's sleep tonight. I you feel will. like- I think you'll, I have a feeling you'll sleep, like you'll fall asleep as soon as you lay down. I hope so. I'm gonna take my Unisom, which I take for sleep every night, but it hasn't been helping too much the past couple nights. So yeah. I'm gonna take my Unisom. I'm gonna like start my relaxation, maybe put on a podcast, put on my little eye mask, and hopefully see you guys tomorrow morning well rested. Tomorrow morning? Yeah. Oh, also this is your first time on the vlog today. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Crazy day at work, but I'm glad I got to sit down and play with the friends. Yeah, it was fun. Mm. Good morning, puppers. Ooh, <laughs> double big stretch. Good morning. I am happy to report that I slept relatively well last night. It wasn't the like perfect, really long, uninterrupted catch up on sleep sleep that I was hoping for. I woke up quite a bit. I tossed and turned, but still overall, I feel like I finally got good sleep. I feel well rested, which is good because today I am filming a main channel video and <laughs> Fraser, come on. There's a bird, which is good because today is a filming day for the main channel. So I'm gonna go make breakfast, hop on the Peloton bike. I have a little bit of editing and computer work to do. And then in the afternoon, probably around two o'clock, I am gonna get started with my filming. Did you get that big bird? Did you show him who's boss? <laughs> yeah, you did. Alrighty, just finished my Peloton ride. My first time riding it since we moved it into the living room here, and I really don't mind this location. But you know who does mind is Bruiser. Bruiser was very scared of the bike, and I think also the fan. As soon as I turned the fan on and got on the bike, like the clicking sound of my shoe, like clipping into the bike, freaked her out. She ran right into the bedroom and just stayed there the whole time until I finished. And then now she's back out here laying on the couch. Was that a little scary? I'm sorry, sweetie. I know. 
I've been riding Peloton a lot less for the past maybe month and a half, maybe two months. Once my belly grew to a certain point, it started to just not be as comfortable to ride. And what did help was making some adjustments. I looked up adjustments that you can make to better accommodate a pregnant body on a cycling bike. So basically I just changed my measurements on the bike so that I'm a little bit more upright. And that has definitely helped a lot, but I just say at this stage of my pregnancy, I'm not enjoying cycling as much as I was before. So I've been doing more walks lately, but with the bike adjustments, it's not really uncomfortable anymore. Like I can still ride. So I think I'm gonna keep throwing in cycling rides like maybe once a week every now and then until it does get uncomfortable and I feel like I can't really ride anymore. But my OB said I can keep cycling as long as it feels comfortable. So for now, I'm gonna keep doing it every now and then, but I've definitely been, I've been more of a walk person lately. All right, I am showered and ready to get some work done. I blow dried my hair just a little bit, just enough so that it'll be fully dry by the time I film this afternoon. And I usually don't vlog on main channel filming days and that's like intentional because I've noticed that when I try and vlog and film a main channel video at the same time, I tend to not do as good of a job with either of those things because my attention is split. And instead, if I'm vlogging on days where I'm not filming for the main channel or at least not filming a lot, like if I'm just getting B-roll or just have like a little bit of filming to do, the vlog ends up being better because I'm more focused on that. But I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys like seeing those behind the scenes vlogs. I haven't done one in a long time, so maybe maybe one of these upcoming filming days I will. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog, transition my brain into main channel filming mode, and I will see you guys in the next one.